So I'm a tour guide, and I have been ever since I was 15. And I have what no other tour guide has. And that's knowledge. Proper knowledge. Step right up, step right up. Come see the sights of London on this wonderful magical tour. Take as many photos as you like. Take in as much information as you like. I know for 25 quid. So as you can see, this is Cleopatra's Needle. And yes, before you ask, we did steal it. Way back in 2003. It's called Cleopatra's Needle because she was addicted to heroin. And when she was admitted into rehab, that's when we came and we stole it. I think that the tour guide, or Mr. Governor, as he likes to be known, is, well, let's just face it, he's a tosser, right? He knows nothing about London, and he crosses the line in so many ways. This is a girl who used to be a boy, and she was one of the first members of the LGBT society. And she's also the first female transgender woman in the history of the world. Any questions? No questions? Okay. So, she came here for a ye drink, so it gave her a ye drink. St Paul's Cathedral was named after the British legend Sir Paul McCartney and the top of it is made of pure gold and the reason for that is because money can't buy you love. St Paul's Cathedral was originally going to be named St John's after John Lennon but then he died. So as you can see this is Shakespeare's globe and he has wrote many places such as Romeo and Juliet and the reason he wrote that was because he actually lost his virginity here to a girl called Juliet. And then the tragic ending was because she died five months later of the plague, which then led him to write more plays, but even more depressing, such as Lady Macbeth. Wait, what are you talking about? About her husband dying. That is wrong. I'm giving you facts about Shakespeare. All right, all right, go on, go on. To be or not to be. This is the worst tour I've ever been to. What is he talking about? What? I don't even believe him. His name's called Dick and he acts like a dick. He gets me so angry. You know what? You know, I paid 25 pounds, you know? You know what, I want my money back. I don't care no more. Well, I think I've lost one, but I still have the rest, so yay. Well, here we are. The tunnel of crap art, all except for one piece, which was done by a masterclass amateur. Let me introduce you to the local legend of Blanksy. Oh, hello there. Nice to meet all you lot. As you introduced me already, it is Blanksy, and I have my latest drawing right here, my graffiti artist, my artwork. Stick it to the man, because obviously, stick it to the man. Any questions? Why is it stuck on the wall? Stick it to the man, stick it to the wall. Same thing, same difference. Any more questions? No. Alright, right, cool. We done after. You wanna go grab a couple of drinks, you know? Yeah, we'll go for a couple. Go pick up a couple yeah. of girls. Yeah. Go out here. Good idea. Sure. What time are you finishing? I'm gonna finish, I think, about five yeah. minutes. Alright, and I'll just call it. Oh. Hello. So I gotta tell you this. Catch right, you in a bit, yeah? yeah. See you later, guys. Nice to meet you. Lot. Why is that? I got a phone call. Clean you up. Clean you up. What's that? I don't know. You told me. All this, this tour is just ridiculous. Cleopatra's Needle, Shakespeare's Globe, all these stupid facts he's making up, and all for 25 quid. Look, look, why is he on his phone? He's on his phone? That's ridiculous. That's tipping me over right now. We should go now. Let's get money back. He's on the phone. We can't get it. There's no refunds. It's stupid writing. I think we should leg it while he's on the phone. Come, let's go. Let's go. So guys, I've saved the best for last. Guys? Hello? This isn't funny. Hello? Shit. 
Ja, nou.